conservation of freshly plant to make species of threatened plants clear, make clear. One is the taxonomic definition of threatened species. Another one is the evolution of threatened species. This is a prospectum avail uh, mangrove fern. Uh, it's distributed widely in the tropics uh, Asia. And but this is endangered species, but the recent study shows the Japanese species, that occurs in uh, southern Ryukyu uh, Island, is uh, another species. So this one is endangered plants and also endangered endemic species. This, this, this one is uh, extinct in the world, in the wild. In the molecular Biogenetic analysis shows this one is a uh, hybrid between Kinkiensis uh, marked with square and the uh, Aspica marked with a uh, triangle. In future, if uh, it is allowed, uh, we can produce uh, uh, the same species by uh, hybridization uh, technique. This is a uh, uh, publication of the uh, in Japan, national level and local level. And uh, it, this uh, revealed that one fourth, 25% Japanese species are uh, uh, threatened plants, and this is a uh, uh, summary. But it, the national level and the local level. Uh, publication is not enough to conserve uh, the written plant. So we should expand our activities from our country uh, to the multi countries uh, uh, activities. So Eastern Nation Planning Garden Network was established several years ago, including Korea, China, Russia, and Japan. This is uh, one output of uh, uh, Eastern Nation Planet Cousins Network. So this is a combined list for threatened plants of Japan, Korea, China, and Eastern uh, Russia. It is also available upon request. This is a summary. Uh, this is the total number of threatened plants in China, Japan, Korea, uh, Russia, and Taiwan. And uh, this is 85, for example, 85 is uh, uh, threatened plants common between uh, China and, uh, and Japan. These uh, few numbers <coughs> that uh, the common threatened, threatened condition in uh, three or more uh, countries. So this shows that there are many threatened species in single countries, while the species are not as threatened in the adjacent ones. So as a summary, 50% uh, uh, of uh, threatened plants are endemic to Japan. Other, among the other 50 non-endemic plants, uh, only 16 threatened plants uh, oh, sorry, 16 percent uh, of threatened plants are also uh, in adjacent regions, and 30 uh, percent uh, threatened in, in Japan, but not threatened in adjacent regions. So, major populations here, for example, individual uh, in Japan, are threatened, but uh, main. Uh, areas outside Japan are not threatened. So threatened endemics should be protected by Japan and also uh, a fewer uh, number of 16% uh, threatened 
between uh, two different uh, regions uh, should be uh, protected uh, with a research, collaborative research between the uh, countries concerned. And uh, I want to uh, say conservation of attention should be paid to larger populations because uh, which may be potential sources for new species. This is a uh, well-known example of the diversification. This is species A. And the uh, species B uh, sister to one of the uh, several uh, traits which belong to species B. So this is a uh, uh, paraphyletic species. So, so that the this one has a potential source for a new species. And uh, this is uh, another outcome of the international collaboration. This is a uh, multi countries uh, authors. And we are now publishing a very attractive paper by the ratio uh, innovation and narrow distribution factor, which is under in press. Thank you very much. I think he made a lot of explanation about the situation in Japan. And um, if anyone has questions, please raise your hands. Any questions or comments? I think your explanation is more than enough. So, Thanks a lot. Again. <laughs> Next speaker uh, from UK, um, uh, Sarah Orfield. Uh, she is the Secretary General of the Garden Conservation International. And um, uh, she is going to talk about uh, the global strategy for plant conservation. Um, 2011 to 22 region and global collaboration. enough 
attention given to the conservation of plant species or not enough um, promotion of the needs of plants. So a group of uh, botanists got together in Brenton area in April 2000 and came up with the kind of framework for um, a strategy um, and a decision at the uh, CBD convention, um, the, the COP in, in 2000, decided to uh, consider the establishment of a, of a global strategy. So then that became on the CBD agenda. And pulling together the initial version of the global strategy for climate conservation um, involved consultation with a very wide range of experts and different organisations, so it was a very broad-based consultation. And um, the GSPC was adopted unanimously by all the parties to the, to the Convention on Biological Diversity in 2002. And from its outset, the objective of GSPC has been to halt the current and continuing loss of plant diversity. Uh, the scope of the global strategy for plant conservation, again, I'm sure you're all very familiar with this, um, includes understanding and documenting plant diversity. That really is the basis for taking any action. Conservation of plant diversity, using plant diversity sustainably, promoting education and awareness about plant diversity and capacity building. And there have been 16 ambitious targets. And it, the deadline for meeting those targets was 2010. So, of course, everyone asked, well, were the targets met? And um, I would say that generally they were not met in full globally, but there has been a lot of progress in plant conservation, a lot of which I think has been directly stimulated by the GSPC. Um, the implementation, implementation, as with all um, aspects relating to the CBD, is primarily at national level, and there's been variable success at national level in setting targets for plant conservation in response to the global strategy, and then working towards those targets. But the, the GSPC has very definitely provided a focus for plant conservation activities and certainly there's been, as a result, there's been much more progress in plant conservation than there would have been without the targets. Um, it's promoted the importance of plants, given plants a voice, if you like, and brought together different sectors nationally, so you get uh, different stakeholders working together to devise national strategies and then implement them. Uh, it's provided the framework for these national and regional strategies. And it's really been embraced fully by the Botanic Garden community. Uh, so it's provided the framework for conservation action by Botanic Gardens. And, um, and it's also led to the creation of the Global Partnership for Plant Conservation. So I think in, 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 in setting the scene, bringing people together with common objectives and a big ambition, big ambitious set of targets, the GSPC has been very successful. And I think another exciting um, aspect of the, of the strategy is that everyone can be involved. Everybody can feel that they are contributing towards the global strategy for plant conservation. The Global Partnership for Plant Conservation brings together a wide range of different international, national, regional groups who are interested and, and involved in plant conservation. This is just a selection of some of the organizations. The partnership is flexible, it's open to all, so it is something that you can join and become part of. But it, it operates under the auspices of the CPD and has a mandate to support global uh, implementation of the global strategy plant conservation, and apologies for any uh, logos that are missing off there that should be there. Uh, there have been a range of um, strategies at a national level, um, and we've heard already about uh, the activities that have been stimulated in Japan by the um, global strategy for plant conservation. So, uh, despite not all the targets being met in full by 2010, and maybe that was, um, and, and would, would 
to be a, an over-optimistic goal to achieve all the uh, ambitious targets. Uh, despite the fact that not all the targets were fully met, um, in 2008, following a mid-term review of progress on the global strategy, the parties to the convention um, confirmed support for the global strategy and were in request of revised targets going forward beyond 2010. Uh, BGCI, Botanic Gardens International, was involved in um, a consultation exercise and we held a series of regional workshops bringing people together to look at the targets and how they might be modified or improved uh, going beyond 2010. And these targets, uh, the revised targets for 2020, were adopted in 2010 at the CBD COP. So we now have an even more ambitious set of targets to meet by 2020. And some of the mechanics of how the GSPC works, uh, one, one very important aspect is that um, countries nominate, parties to, to, to the CBD nominate a focal point for the global strategy within their own country. And that person can help to um, coordinate activities, convey information, uh, bring people together, different stakeholders to um, help to implement the global strategies at a national level. 